Hello and welcome back to my garage. How you guys doing today? Uh, so when I was doing my editing, I realized what the hell happened. Um, if you've seen the last video, you probably noticed I didn't really cut the uh, how much gas I put in. Usually I do, uh, but I didn't do it this time. And if you notice, we have like over half a tank. Uh, so when I bought this freaking gas tank, I didn't realize it comes with fuel. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab the wrench, empty that puppy out and put the diesel in it. Uh, let's go ahead and get it to a little bit earlier in the day. We'll do about noon here. All right, let's grab our wrench. Uh, we got a freaking mess out here. Indeed. Okay. Yeah. Let's pull out this gas tank, empty this SOB and, uh, yeah, let's fix this. Okay. Now I should be able to pull this off. I think you got to get it from the side. Yeah. And now, oops, I think it's empty in. Yep. Oh, look, that's interesting. You know, cause gas, the gasoline's like a yellow color. Anyway, I wonder if the diesel is a different color. It should be empty now. So let's go ahead and stick this back in here. And we'll put some straight diesel in. All right. Uh, yeah, we need to put this cap. Uh, well, we don't need to put the cap back on yet. Let's go ahead and get the diesel in first. All right. 87 cents. Let's see now. We're just going to put a little bit in it. Just enough to get it started. Uh, 11 liters. Oops, sorry. It's like two gallons, I think. I think it's like roughly four liters a gallon. Okay. Uh, let's get in there. Oops. Come on, come on. All right. Now, if we check, uh, we better put this in our bag before we forget and lose it. Okay, yeah. If we check now, uh, when we kick it, well, when we hit the... Uh... Okay, yeah. See, it's barely there. All right. Well, here's the moment of truth. Uh, to see if I got everything put together properly. Uh, three, two, one. There it is. Oh, it sounds like a diesel. Okay. Well, let's turn it off. Uh, we need to put the exhaust on. It's pretty damn loud. So it should sound a little less crazy once we get this on there. God, yeah, I don't know. I thought at one point, I thought it did uh, when you bought a gas tank. Because when I was at the house doing the work and all that stuff, you know. Oh, uh, wait, what's going on here? Do I already have an exhaust on here? Uh, but when I was at the house doing all that work. I thought I had bought in a gas tank once and it had diesel in it. Or, I mean, it, uh, it had fuel in it. Uh, but then another time I felt like when I bought one, uh, it didn't have fuel in it. So I didn't think they actually came with fuel, but apparently they do. Okay. There we go. Uh, we still need to get the transmission fully on. Uh, so I'm not going to drive it over there, put it in gear quite yet. Uh, but I do want to start it with, what is that? Oh, that's the exhaust. Why is everything? Oh, probably because the engine doesn't fit, right? Okay, that sounds a bit better. Oh, look, got a little bit of a high idle. Okay, that's fine. Let's turn it off. Uh, let's go ahead and get over there. Uh, put this on the lift. Is my brake on? Yeah. Oh, God, I can't even see. Uh, let's put this thing on the lift. Oh God, go ahead, go ahead. All right, thank you. Oh, check it out. <laughs> I'm like on the curb. Oh my God, not the curb, I meant the bumper. All right, yeah, let's get this on the lift so we can get under there. I couldn't see a damn thing uh, just by being underneath of it. So, all right, come on, would you? Uh, you know what, let me see something as well. Uh, I noticed, okay, so I noticed that if you go into the main menu and you go into the settings um, or the gameplay settings and you go to controls, 
uh, there's a little checkbox uh, to press E to get into the uh, seat or whatever. Um, I do have it checked, but it, E's not working. So has anybody got that to work or does it work for you? Um, I did set hit that little button that says set inputs, but um, it doesn't seem like anything happened. Because uh, I, I don't know, I kind of would like to have E to get in the car. I mean, I'm pretty used to just jumping in and pressing enter at this point, but... I don't know. All right, let's see. I think E would still be handy though for those moments where you can't get in. You know what I mean? Like for whatever reasons. Um, I guess this is fine. For some reason that one side, oops, no, 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 no. Let's go and just stretch this out just a little bit there. Okay, let's get this damn transmission tightened. Uh, we might as well change the springs while we're at it. I do want to take this thing uh, out for a drive. So I have a question here about this. Uh, let me see something real quick here. Uh, so if we go to the diesel and we go to engine, uh, and then we type in gearbox. So are these all the same, I wonder? for all the cars uh well definitely not for the v8 what about the four cylinders well they definitely look different uh let's take it off i guess and make sure it's even the right freaking i don't think it's the right uh trend oh well there's the bolts but yeah let's take it all the way off just to see if it's actually the right freaking transmission I mean, I don't need to be screwing that up. Okay, this is only meant for a four-cylinder. Okay, I'm glad I freaking checked. Uh, four-cylinder, we're just gonna stick this back here. Um, I think while I'm at it, I was gonna stick this on there, but we'll just leave that there for now. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the correct freaking tranny. Because who knows what kind of problems that could cause. I might not even be able to move, I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll go back to the diesel. All right, here we go. So I'm debating. Well, I do like the five speed, but four speeds can be pretty nice too. They got a little bit longer gears. Uh, we'll do the five though. Uh, yeah, we'll do the five speed. Why not? I don't know. Oh yeah, this one does look quite different, doesn't it? Oh, that looks a lot better too. Okay, cool. Uh, one of these days I should... I I should, uh, you know, test out weird stuff like that and see uh, what the difference would be. I thought about creating a separate save and just doing, like, wonky stuff, like um, head-on crashes at top speed, you know, to see how well the crumble is and that kind of thing. Let me know if you'd be interested in those kind of videos. Uh, I'll probably do it regardless, but... All right, let's get, and it'll be like a separate series, basically. It's just going to be like a, a My Garage screw around or something. I don't know. But let's get these big old lonkers off so we don't tilt. I thought about putting the lower ones on it, uh, but then I was like, no, nah, I think I'm just going to put the uh, standard springs on here, the lower ones might handle better but i feel like we'd probably bottom out all right let's look at everything else real quick while we're down here uh check the oh well we blew a tie rod so i'm glad i came down here to look those brakes look good okay everything's looking pretty good we still got the four two in here um, since I was going to use this for like a towing vehicle, I was thinking about putting the 5.0, um, differential in. Oh yeah, we need to go to the catalog and get the springs. Okay. And a tie rod. Okay. Uh, delete. Thank you. We'll switch this puppy over to the NIV. Uh, we're going to go to suspension here. And I don't think there's any other shock absorbers. I think it's just these. Uh, we're going to double check. Well, I mean, obviously, there's these shock absorbers, uh, the soft and the stiff. 
but I am just kind of really talking about vanilla. Okay, nope, that's it. Uh, lifted, we did not like. Sp uh, lowered, we'd probably bottom out. Uh, two front, two rear. And let's get these puppies put on real quick. Oops, I had him uh, backwards anyway. Let's get our uh, thingamadoo. And today, if you're wondering, what we're actually going to end up doing is... Well, I was thinking about taking this diesel out again, uh, taking this diesel out and testing. Oops, I forgot the, uh, I forgot the damn tie rod. And uh, trying the rally again, but with these lower suspensions. You know what I mean? But what I want to do is uh, take the trailer down to the junkyard. I want to find. A wolf to buy. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Don't do that to me. I loosened something else up there. Well, whatever. Uh, I don't think we have any tie rods. Uh, we're just going to set that out there for now. Uh, actually, we do have a tie rod right here. But it's only good for the lad, apparently. Okay. Take this for a quick cruise. See how well it does uh, on the rally track. This time, hopefully we won't wreck it. Uh, but if we do, that's quite all right. There we go. Tighten. Tighten. Making sure I didn't loosen the brake or something. So it's like right here, and it made that loosening sound like two times. Oh, I wonder if it was. Nope. Okay. Well, apparently I didn't loosen anything. Uh, it sure did sound like it. Okay. Well, this should be good. Uh, yeah, I want to go down to the junkyard, though, and see if we can get ourselves a wolf um, and get that puppy built and put this engine into it. And probably use the use the wolf as our like hauling vehicle or what have you. Uh, before we head out, though, we are going to put the demolition derby bumper on. Uh, I want to see if that'll actually protect us a little bit better if we do happen to wreck again. Uh, so let's get this bumper off right there, and yeah, there it is. It's off off to the side. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this is good. Oh, definitely not good. Okay. Stick this over in the junk, and we need the front bumper, which is this ugly thing. There we go. And tight, and tighten. Okay. So I don't know if this will do anything for us, uh, as far as give us any, uh, extra protection or whatever, but... We will attempt to try, I am um, thinking about removing some of this uh, grill and stuff. Uh, I think it'll be fine. We're just going to leave it on there for now. Uh, we do definitely want to remove the windshield though, because I can't see with that damn thing. And we will put this into our bag. Okay, let's get going here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's get the back window off. I'm just going to drop it out there. Let's get the front window off. And that should be good. All right. Let's go ahead and head to... Uh, yeah, let's try the rally again. Uh, hopefully it's not an epic fail. Uh, but I guess we will see. All right, well, seems like, uh, should we get a little bit more gas, probably? Now that we know it is running. I think we will. I think we will. Uh, let's see if we could hop over this curb. Okay. Shut her down real quick. Uh, put her in. 
Oh, my neutral button's not working. That's fine. Okay, let's see here. All right. And we got diesel. Okay. Okay, we got 30 liters in. Uh, that's about triple the amount we put in last time. So we should be close to a half a tank, I think. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're just a bit over a half a tank. Okay. All right. Well, let's give this puppy a test out. And, oops. And let's see. Uh, break. There we go. All right, uh, give me one second here. All right, there we go. I think we are all set. Uh, let's go. Well, seems to go pretty good. Okay. Let's, oh shit, okay. Uh, let's floor it. This. See how fast we can get it. Okay, it's actually slower. Well, we're going just under 220 uh, when we had the four cylinder. Remember, it went just over, uh, I think it was like 230. But I do think that was before I changed my rear end. I think that was when we had the 38, and now we have a 42, so. All right. Uh, it's a little bit weird driving uh, with this freaking window all jacked up. You know what? I'm gonna once we get up here to the rally section, we're gonna I'm gonna scoot a little bit to the right. All right, there we go. All right, well, here we go. Let's see if we could actually complete the track this time. I'm hoping uh, since we have uh, the different springs on, so, all right, let's go. Oops, I think I got the brake still. Yep, okay. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, we're going good. All right, it's already seeming like it, it runs a bit better. Yeah, it's not so top heavy. Oh shit. Okay, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Oh my God, okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh my God, stop. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, get good, bro. Oh my God. All right, well, we're still on technically, so we did not wreck. Uh, let's get back up to the road here. Okay, easy. Okay, okay, easy, okay. Uh, this was a fail. All right, we're, we're still on, let's go. Oh my god, yeah, get good, get good. Uh, what the hell is that all about? What the hell is that all about? Okay, I'm just a bad, I think I'm just a bad driver. Oh, we definitely ain't hit. We definitely ain't hitting the uh, two minute mark, I don't think. Uh, well, actually. Okay. Okay, well, that wasn't actually too bad. Let's just pop the clutch. Okay, that wasn't too bad of a wreck. Oh my god, okay. Well, this thing 
I don't think this thing's meant to race. Uh, not at all, actually. Well, uh, 227, I mean, uh, I mean, that's actually not too freaking bad, uh, considering how freaking bad we did. Uh, I think the way to get out of here, yeah, I think it's up this way. Yeah, 227, that wasn't too bad. I think if I would take my time uh, just a little bit more. Uh, we would actually be able to make that record. Um, you know what? Let's try one more time. I'm not going to go as crazy. Uh, I'm going to try to stay on the road a little bit better. All right. Uh, let's see. I think it's around this turn. Let's see how fast we can kind of hit this. I mean, I don't know. It should be up this way, though. Yeah, I think if I'm a little bit more careful, uh, we should be able to hit that time because I, I mean, I went off road pretty badly there and uh, <clears throat> it was only at 227. So I think, yeah, we won't go as crazy. I, you know, I think I was going a little bit overboard, really, really flying it. I thought it was going to handle a little bit better, uh, but I was wrong. All right, let's try this again. Uh, I think I got the brake on. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Two, one, go. I think we're doing a little bit better this time. Even get a little bit of air off this. Oh, yep. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, I think I handled that pretty good. All right, now I don't remember which one we really screwed up on, but we can tell we got a big turn coming up right here. Okay, 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 easy, easy. I did not take that landing too swell. All right, all right, I think we're doing, okay, slow it down just a little bit. the finish line. I think we're doing okay. I think we're going to hit the two minute mark. Okay, easy. Don't... Okay, easy, easy. So it's a little bit finicky still when it lands uh, after getting some air. Oh, we're going to make it. Uh, just barely, though. All right. Oh, we got an award too. All right. Well, let's see how much we got. We're at sixteen point uh, three. Oops. Did I did I do it? Oh, what the fuck happened? Did I push the wrong button? Oh no! What the hell happened? I thought it said press enter. The freak! Did it say press R? Oh, son of a bastard! All right. Well. I don't know what to do about that now. I feel like I need to do it one more time. Well, let's get back up here. I think we made it at like one minute and 52 seconds. 
Uh, yeah, I should have read it a little bit better. I thought it said press enter to collect reward, but... I don't know. Alright, let's do it one more time. Let's read the damn thing. Oops, easy does it. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, okay, easy. It's wanting to slide for me out from under me. Alright, come on, baby. A little bit of air. Okay, I think we're good. Nope, right here. This is where we wrecked last time. Alright, come on. Okay, slow her down, slow her down. Alright, right here. Okay, don't hit the thing. Okay, we're good. Slow it down. All right, I think that's the finish line up there. All right, come on. Where are we at? One minute twenty five. Okay. Forty-two. Collect your reward. Uh, you won. Uh, race is finished. Your time was one forty-eight. Collect your reward. Press enter to close. Oh, okay. Well, where the hell do I collect my reward at? Uh, is it back? At was there a thing here? Hold on. Uh, we'll go ahead and close it. Let's jump out. Yeah, let's jump out over here. Was there a tent over here? We clicked it at the tent, probably, right? Let's go ahead and I should get a let's back up over there. I'm gonna freaking run. I, what am I doing? It's like the damn movies, man. You ever see those movies where they're like there's an emergency and somebody drives up with their vehicle uh to get there really fast, but then they fucking and then they park like two hundred feet away. And you're and you're wondering yourself, why the hell are they parking so far away? Uh, yeah, that's what I did. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, yep, there's the... Is that the reward? Oh, yeah, that's the reward. Okay. Well, we actually got two trophies. Well, that's freaking fancy-dancy. Oh, and we got money over here, too. 1500 bucks for a race? Okay, well, how do I... Uh, do I, oh, I just click it twice. Is that what happened? Oh, right click and then left click. Oh, okay. Well, we got two trophies. Uh, I wonder if those are considered collectibles. I could put them on my shelf too, but I could also sell them. Uh, we'll probably keep one of them. I don't think they tell me what my, my, what my time was or anything. Okay. Well, cool. Jesus. I mean, that's a really good way to really good way to earn money i mean we just made three thousand bucks in the matter of oops i think my brakes on uh 20 minutes maybe i don't know not sure how long we've been up here okay easy yeah i kind of feel like i'd like the four speed a little bit better i feel like these uh gears are a little bit short in the five speed And, I mean, I, I, yeah, I don't like really short gears, because uh, you're just, like, shifting through them all within a matter of seconds. 
Uh, but yeah, this thing did okay. I think the Lad would probably be the better rally car. Uh, so we might end up putting that four cylinder into a Lad and making that our racing. Oh shit. Making that kind of. Okay, easy. I think that bumper actually helped me right there. Uh, but yeah, maybe make the Lad like our racing car or a rally car. Because I don't think this is really meant to be that, you know what I mean? It's more of a. I don't even know. I guess it's kind of a truck in a way, slash car. It's like a Jeep, I guess. Or maybe a Bronco or a Blazer or something. Yeah, I think I'd like the four speed in here. Um, anyway, let's get back to the house. Let's pick up our trailer. Okay, yeah, we don't want to blow the engine, let off the throttle. Uh, pick up our trailer and head down to the junkyard and see if we can find ourselves a wolf. Right, there we go. Well, that thing actually uh, did fairly decent. It, it didn't handle the greatest, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's, you know, that's because it's a freaking NIV. Uh, well, good to know, though. NIVs are not the best at, at racing. Uh, let's just check her fluids real quick, make sure we didn't jack anything up. We didn't uh, fry out anything. I think I was pretty good with my throttle. Uh, I, I think one on the other engine, um, I downshifted too far and I freaking broke the damn thing. Okay, yeah, we're going to check the oil real quick. Okay, yeah, it's fine. And let's go ahead and check the uh, radiator as well. Okay, radiator fluid's still full too. All right, let's hook her up to the trailer and let's head down to the junkyard and uh, see what see if we can get ourselves in, uh, a wolf. All right, there we go. And possibly a lad uh, and have those as like our, our cars. Oh, what the hell? Oh, my brakes on. It's like, why is the freaking back doing that? All right. And then we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just pull it up here. Uh, the brakes are on. I don't know if that's going to matter. Okay, no. Oh, no, the brake was off anyway. My dude's a little bit of a he-man. Okay, and somebody did mention maybe on top of the, uh, well, let's look on the ground first because we've reloaded a couple times here uh somebody said maybe on the top is where some of those parts might have been okay nope i don't see anything up there okay well that's fine uh no biggie but let's go ahead and get down to the junkyard and see what we can get ourselves well we're definitely buying an, a wolf and a lad i want to get both of those vehicles Uh, should we switch the view? Oh, that's not the view, though. Hold on. Oh, it would be fun uh, to do, like, a trailer... <laughs> trailer... Trailer race. Uh, just kidding. I don't know if that'd be fun or not. All right. Anybody coming? Negative. All right. Let's see how it goes up this hill. Third gear, no problem. It's not even floored. Yep. Yeah, and we'll see if we could find a front end for this thing. Ah, uh, shit. Did I did I pack the wrench? I hope I did. I don't think I could pull it up while I'm driving. All right, easy.
All right, here we go. Uh, we'll have to look at the woof as well. I don't know if that's uh, just two-wheel drive or four-wheel. Because ideally, I mean, I'd like it to be a four-wheel drive, especially if I'm going to uh, be using it uh, for hauling trailers and such, you know? All right, well, here we go. Let's see if we can back the trailer up against the uh, curb over there. A little bit too much. Oh yeah, that was a little bit too uh, too aggressive there. Can't really see. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's get out. Let's see how our parking job was. Eh, it could have been better. But I am curious if I'd be able to actually put a car in there. Like a, you know? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but we could definitely load all this stuff up before we... Ah, uh, hold on a second. I might have to go back and sleep. I don't know if my settings are correct. Yeah, car size is only two. Well, let's see what two we got first. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky with the wolf. And I keep forgetting I could sleep in the car. Well, there is a wolf over here. How much is it? Uh, it actually has quite a bit of its engine in there. It's pretty crappy. It's 9,000. Um, you know what? I'm going to sleep. I got both the cars I actually wanted. Damn. I say damn. Like it's a bad thing. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to sleep. I'm going to reload. I want to see if a wagon will actually spawn. I might have to just convert it. I don't know if it'll come in default or not. Uh, but let's go ahead and sleep through the night and uh, let me switch my settings up to 14 and one, two, three. Okay, there we go. 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, there we go. Let it load up a little bit more. Oh yeah, and um, I wanted you guys to let me know how the quality of this video is today compared to previous ones. Um, I switched it from uh, 1440p uh, to downscale to 1080p on OBS. Uh, so I want to make sure that it still looks okay. Uh, you know what I mean? I figure most people probably don't watch at 1440 anyhow, but yeah, just let me know. And let's see what we got. So we got quite a few wolves and there's an engine up in the sky over there. We got quite a few lads. Uh, no wagons, but that's okay. We can, we'll just convert it to a wagon. Okay. Yep. Yeah, nothing. And then also pro tip, uh, you've probably noticed in all my videos, you could hear my fricking chair squeaking in the background whenever I talk. Uh, that's because unfortunately I didn't buy a better chair like I should have. Anyway, uh, if you're having squeaking issues, uh, you might think the tighter, the better, and it'll prevent the squeaking. Well, not necessarily. I loosened mine up and it doesn't squeak anymore. So I think that engine fell. All right. So yeah, anyway, that's enough of the tips. Let's go ahead and check the prices on these things. Uh, we'll start with this one over here. 12,000. It's got most of an engine. Uh, let's check this one. 12,000. somewhat of an engine. I think that first one that we had was probably the best one. I should have probably just got it. Uh, yeah, 15. Holy cremoli. What about the convertible? 8,000. Okay, I think we're going to end up buying this one and making this our project car. Uh, we already have an engine, so I'm not too concerned about the engine. And I think that's it for the woofs, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab this one here. We won't have much work to do. Does this actually like hold out? Oh, I'll, sh I'll crap my pants if it does. Uh, brown interior. What's the rest of these look like? White interior. Oh, I do like the red interior. I mean, we can always go to the upholstery shop and really customize it if we want. So yeah, let's just get this one. 
Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So 8,000 for this. Cha-ching. All right. And let's see what kind of lad we can buy. Um, I don't know what would be better for rally. Uh, two door or the four door. I do like the way the two doors look. It kind of reminds me, uh, 4,800. How much was this one? Kind of reminds me of a Nova 37. Uh, what about the convertible? Uh, 46. Uh, 58. I think we'll get that one over there for 47. Uh, maybe not. Well, maybe we'll buy it to flip it. I don't know if I, because look, we're only, we're already down to 11 grand. Uh, was there any nibs in here? And did I bring my wrench? I did. Well, this one doesn't have a door, but it does have uh, the right panel that we need over there. So let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this panel. Yeah, this looks pretty good shape. 23 bucks. Can't beat that. All right. Uh, anything else we could take off this? We don't need the hood. Uh, we could look around and see if there's a door in here. Uh, we actually do need a windshield, but I didn't bring my pry tool, of course. And I can't get off. I don't think the front end bolts on. I think it's uh, welded on. I could get the lights, actually. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I didn't bring a screwdriver. Yeah, I didn't bring a screwdriver. Of course not. Uh, yeah, give me a few. I'm going to look around and see if there's anything else that we can purchase from here. Yeah, see, I think a lad would be a pretty good rally car because this here is meant for the lad, this roll bar here. So uh, I think we've, we'll probably end up getting a lad and making that a rally. Uh, but okay, I didn't see any door uh, or anything like that. I was hoping I'd find it. Let's go ahead and just remove this panel right away and put the new one on. Okay, there we go. Doesn't line up too great. Uh, but that is quite all right. Um, <laughs> I was really thinking about seeing if I could fit this in here. Uh, it definitely doesn't appear. So we're going to just take this off real quick and bring it closer. Oh, well, that's great. I can't even push the bloody thing. Uh, you know what? Let me see if we can buy some rims for this thing real quick. Uh, we should probably take our wrench, though. Uh, we, we have it. Okay. Yeah, let's look at these other... Uh, let's look at these other wolves and see if we can get some rims uh, from them. Well, this one has one. This one has... Oh, okay. This one has all three. Uh, let's go ahead and get these uh, real quick. Because we'll be paying way less uh, than we would at the place. Yeah. That's good. That actually looks like a really good tire. 59 bucks. Shoot, that's a good price. $59 for that one as well. And $59 for that one. Oh, wait, the $22 for this one. Oh, it's because of the bald ass tire. Okay, one, two. And three. Perfect. Uh, let's see if there's actually any other parts that we need off of this uh, before we head home, like a gas tank. Yeah, this gas tank looks good. I can't take too many parts because I didn't bring all my tools, but uh, we're going to actually just throw these on here real quick. Actually, I don't know if I'll be able to because I didn't bring a jack. Nah, I didn't think so. That's okay. Maybe we can uh, lift it up. No. Oh, wait, maybe actually. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, I think I think that's gonna work. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's slap this one on.
All right, there we go. Um, this don't even have the hub to put a tire on. What about this side? Well, it doesn't have a rotor, but uh, let's see if we could actually push it now that it has one back tire. Oh, it does. Okay, let's see. Was this thing wide enough? Oh, no, this thing's definitely too wide. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just put the rest of those parts in there. There we go. And we'll go ahead and ship this home. Uh, this looks pretty good for the most part. Oh, it's missing a steering column. Let's see if we can grab that steering column over here. I did see that car had one. Oops, easy, buddy. Uh, 98 bucks. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Kinda, I kind of just took part of it. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't really need the seat. I was going to say, do I need a passenger seat? What about the armrest? Is that part of it? I don't know. Uh, let's see if all the panels are on real quick. All right. It looks like all the panels are on. Okay. Uh, I think that'll do for now. Let's go ahead and ship that thing home. Or not home, but to the garage for a hundred bucks. All right, there we go. Oops, don't do that to me. And, uh, yep, I'm just going to go ahead and load all this stuff up and uh, I will be back. Okay, uh, got it all loaded up. Now, halfway through, I realized I wanted to test some physics out and see if it actually makes a difference. So I put most of it in the back. And as I was putting stuff in there, it did seem that it like kind of sank down a bit. Uh, so yeah, let's see if this thing gets the wobbles. Easy does it. Let's get over here to the car. Okay. Well, it definitely seems like it's heavier. Let's get the brake off. Oops, I, I didn't mean to do that actually. Well, I, I meant to open it, but I didn't mean for it to fall out. Okay. Okay, it looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and head back. Uh, there we go. All right, here we go. Uh, I want to get a good camera view on three here. Yeah, we'll just zoom it out a little bit. Uh, we won't notice until we actually get on. Oh, damn, look at my tires. I don't know if they're flat or if they're just in the dirt. They might just be in the dirt. Uh, anyway, we're going to get up to first, and then once we get out onto the road and start getting some speed, I want to switch that camera. I want to see if we get the wobbles on this trailer. Now, I'm not really expecting it to, you know, act realistically, but... Uh, if it does, then great. All right, I think we're good. All right, there we go. Let's switch our view. Okay, it seems like it's holding. Oops. It seems like it's doing pretty good. And that stuff probably doesn't weigh that much anyway, even if it does have the physics to it. Uh, a lot of them were you know, busted pieces, uh, fenders and, and the like. Uh, this view's a little hard to drive in. Uh, get on the road, will you? Okay, let's see. I was turning it back and forth to see if I could get it to start wobbling. No, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, that's fine. <clears throat> like I said, it doesn't have that much weight in there. Uh, even if it does have the physics. Okay, let's get back. I'm going to go stop and see, see Steve real quick. I thought about installing that one mod. There's our freaking new car. Uh, I thought about installing that one mod that allows you to back it up uh, your trailer and just sell everything in it, uh, but I didn't, so... What can you do? 
All right, is he open? Nope, he's closed. So we're just going to go ahead and sleep and wait for him to get... Oh, shit, we need to get gas. Okay, this diesel... Wow, this diesel really runs through the fuel. All right, uh, let's go ahead and sleep. There we go. He is open. We're going to sleep. Oh, shit, I slept past... It. Oh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Hey, bud. How's it going? Just a friendly bit of advice, bud. Keep your garage locked at night. Why, are you going to steal my shit or what? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Huh? I'm just trying to say. All right, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do all this, and I'll be back. So we're sitting at pretty much $11,967. Uh, so, yeah, let's see how much we make. Okay, got it all sold, and as you can see up there, uh, it looks like we barely made just over 100 bucks. Everything was like one, two, three dollars except for the roof uh, that I was in there. It was a lad roof, and it was actually like eight, uh, 70 something bucks. So, all right, let's go. Yep, not too bad. Yeah, I think I'll probably get that mod though, because that was kind of a pain in the butt, uh, haul and all that one by one. But let's go ahead and get out. And we'll just leave that hooked up for now. Let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, the engine, it's not the greatest condition, uh, but we have a full engine in here that we can throw over here. So, uh, you know, I am very curious though, if this uh, top pops out, I doubt it, but maybe uh, let's just look in there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it is probably just aesthetics. Okay, well, that was pretty good. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to actually start working on this and getting it converted over. Um, it'll be kind of a slow burn project car, probably. I want to kind of get everything from, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. But I do want to make this our our new hauling car, uh, but with the freaking top. Uh, but yeah, let's see. I think we've been going for long enough. Uh, we Oh, I forgot to sell my trophies. Well, let's go ahead and sell one real quick. I'll meet you guys down there. All right, let's see how much he gives us for this. 200 bucks. I mean, yeah, I'll take that. Cool. So you, well, what do we get? 1500 for the race and then 200 for that. So that's pretty good. 1700 bucks for a race. Not too bad at all. All right. Well, I think we'll call it here. Uh, in the next one, we will just start working on this and getting it road ready, basically. Uh, when to go through and at least remove all the horrible parts. Um, like the floor and stuff like that. Uh, but for the most part, we're just going to get it road ready. Uh, so it's good to go. And yeah, we'll do that. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Later on, guys.